that I'm a little bit nervous. I am a little bit nervous, but today's a big day. So today we're gonna put on the, not put on the blower, but we're gonna onboard the supercharger. It's the first time that I'm doing something of this magnitude. So I'm a little bit nervous and thankfully I have some help. So here's my cousin. What's up everybody? Anthony. So he's gonna be uh, helping us do this mission and hopefully, you know, helping out with the camera, filming all this video. It should be fun. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this hood because we need space in order to get this blower out of here. So let's just do that.
It's gonna take a little bit of practice. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about my struggles. I'm gonna fact our struggles with this because it's been it's been a working process. Yesterday I had no energy to talk to you guys, and I had no energy to really explain. It's a lot of stress taking out the supercharger, especially it's my first time doing such a magnetic job. And I'm 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 not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. You know, I'm not a mechanic. I was doing this. You know, uh, watching YouTube videos, watching uh, Danny Johnson and Justin. Justin, appreciate Danny. Thank you so much. Your video really helped me out a ton um, doing this thing. So I, I don't take credit all by myself. I mean, you guys 
without you being here, you actually have helped me a lot. So I, thank you. I appreciate it. So yesterday we spent like two hours, honestly, trying to disconnect this fuel line. Uh, I know it's it's easy, but it just wouldn't come off. And it, we struggled, we wrestled with it. It took us like two hours just to get, I pretty much destroyed my hands trying to get that um, fuel line out of there. And it's just the, the needy and greedy stuff, you know, making sure that you do everything as best as you can. Taking out that fuel line, uh, let me show you. So removing this fuel line was a mess because it actually, it was pinned with the, with the cables. This, you, you see all these cables right here on the back. So the fuel line was pinned with this, so we couldn't get it out and we were so frustrated. And it was just a mess. You can see how dirty the engine bay is. Obviously, we're going to clean it up and you know make sure that when the blower goes back, everything is clean. Uh, we put some blue tape on the fenders and we put some blue tape obviously in the heads because the, the ports, <laughs> are uh, uncovered so we want to make sure that nothing falls and nothing you know stays in there uh, this helped out a ton you can see how dirty it is 